people. We're back. Another soap. I'm a bit excited about this one. Oh, I am and I'm not. I know what's going to happen. So I kind of, I know that I'm going to end up hating this soap. <laughs> Now, the reason I'm going to end up hating this soap is I don't know if this has vanillin in it, but it's coconut and jojoba, so I'm really sure that it does. And now I'm going to make white soap. So, <laughs> guess what's going to happen? <sighs> anyway, also think I'm having some weird, crazy layer soap love at the moment because I have now made five soaps and only one of them has been a drop swirl that all the others have been layers I think eh whatever I just must be feeling my layers let's give this a whiz get it to emulsion I put the titanium dioxide in before I stick blended this because this is just going to be white so there was no point waiting until afterwards okay so got a mould Yes, we do. Spatula. Yes, we do. Let's scrape down the sides. Get them all incorporated. There's still a little bit of not mixed up stuff up there. But it will be mixed up in a minute. Alright, I'll try and do this on camera today. <laughs> Ooh, looks nice. Looks nice. Love a white batter. All right, so shall we pour it in and hope for the best? <laughs> you just don't know. You just don't know. <laughs> when you don't know, you don't know. It smells bloody amazing. Oh, there's this is like a little sort of like pineapple snip to this. Something I don't know what it is, it's just really nice. Well, okay, let's thicken in a little bit, which is fine. I'm doing layers, I don't really care, it's not thick enough to do layers with. Might have to give it a whiz, which is why I've left this stick blender. What is that? What is that? What are you? Were you invited to the party? I don't believe you were. I don't even know what it is. You weren't invited to get the hell out. You ain't my old lady and you ain't a tattoo. No need to whisper. No need to shout. This party's over. <laughs> Come on. Someone's going to know what that's from. Someone has to know. Oh, Scott, I was in love with Sebastian. I think everybody was in love with Sebastian. <laughs> That's not uncommon. I think the person who was the most in love with Sebastian, however, was Sebastian. It was the long blonde hair. That's what did it for me. Although I didn't have like Vince Neil. Oh, Nikki Six Girl, all the way. I didn't like Brett Michaels either. He had long blonde hair too, didn't he? Nah, CC was my, was my favourite out of Poison. God almighty, I've just named like three uh, hair bands. <laughs> Guess how old I am. <laughs> oh dear. There's nothing wrong with hair bands. The ones you use in your hair or the ones that used to be around back in the day. This is playing quite well. Which is good. I don't think it's thick enough, but to do what I wanted to do. I wanted like super uneven layers. I'll have to thicken this more. Oh God. This is when shit never goes well. <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, Aroma don't sell this anymore. They haven't sold it for a while, but I bought a massive 
friggin' five litre bottle, 20 litre bottle, whatever those big jointy ones are. I bought one of those <laughs> and then stopped using it and then saw it there and went, oh, I need to use that. And then started making candles in it, which seemed to sell all right. Not that I've sold a lot of candles, so I can't really say that. I don't know. I think my vessels are beautiful, but apparently I'm the only one. Oh, Keely likes them. <laughs> I'm sure Keely's the only person who buys anything from me most of the time. <laughs> oh, I swear, she's my main supporter. It's nice. It's what friends are for. So I'm just... I'm just trying to make this not be flat. And then I'm going to do a gold mica line. Except there's something in there. Oh no. Oh, I think it's just, I used black in here the other day, so that could be it. We're going to go fairly heavy with the mica, and I'm going to try and be a little bit more patient with it today. <laughs> now, if you want to do this yourself, it's just a teaspoon or tablespoon or tablespoon as I like to call them. I just spooned some mica in there. And then it's just a just a tea strainer. Nothing fancy, just from the from the cheap shop. And then you just tap it in. That's it. That's all you have to do. There is an even easier way to do, which I forgot. <laughs> I'll show you I'll show you the even easier way on the next one. Can. Oh shit, just hit the camera. <laughs> Sorry camera. Again, it's just mental how not thick this is. Just trying to just <laughs> whatever, I don't even I don't even know why I'm trying. I'm also going to while we have this here. I can't believe how well this is behaving. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put a little gold layer in this as well. Just because. Because I bloody well can. So this one, I'm trying to actually get more towards the edges because that is where you will see it. Because these don't get cut. Oh no, don't go in there. And then tappity taps. Like that. And I will probably texture the top of that. Alright, if you have these little squirty bottles, like they, they just puff out foam and stuff, not foam, mica and stuff, well you can get these, these ones with these. You can get these from craft on the line for like three or four dollars they're fantastic actually i think heirlooms sell them as well but yeah you can use these as well and you can just puff your gold in it doesn't the reason i don't do this well that's probably the main reason is it also doesn't um it's not thick enough to leave enough of a line it works really well in darker colors that's right now i remember it, but not so much in lighter colours. Oh, I'm getting bored now. <laughs> like, hurry up. That's also got a different gold in it than this one. This is resplendent. That other one looks like it might be... Does it say on it what it is? Oh, I wonder what that says. Oh, no, don't understand my own writing. <laughs> Is there any left in there? Not really. We might put a little bit more in. We're pushing our luck now very much with what's left because this has set up. And who knows how hard that is over in this container. Not that hard. Not enough to worry about. So I'm just going to just do this. And then I'm going to give it a good whack down. 
Now I'm trying to get it in the in the dips that are already in there. But yeah, I'll definitely I'm gonna give this a good whack down in a minute. And that should just get it into uh, any holes that may have been made. Okay, this is such a weird fragrance. I just I can't believe it behaves so well. Definitely could have done something with it. And I guess depending on what colour it goes, I'm probably going to come out here tomorrow to be black. <sighs> whatever coconut look this is this is what we expect when we use coconut <laughs> you can't expect anything else the only I think the only coconut I've ever found that doesn't go brown was that coconut cream I think from Aussie soap supplies but because I won't buy from there ever again <laughs> Um, yeah, we're not having that. Okay, so let's just get that off of there. Put that in there. Then we're going to give this one more whack down. So hang on to your ears. I'll actually edit it out. <laughs> Ting. Just, just stop. I don't know how to stop those friggin' springs from making that noise. Okay, nothing fancy. I got bloody gold. Oh my god, look at the gold all over the bench. <laughs> I thought it was sitting in there. It probably was until I whacked everything. Um, not going to do anything fancy. Just going to do this. But what I might do is I might only just do this. I'm going back over the middle of them just to give it a little extra, extra something, something. Extra, extra something, something. Alright, okay, sure, whatever. Shut up, idiot. Jesus Christ. Sometimes I wonder about me. This one is surprisingly set up. Surprisingly. Way more than this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on this side. I'm trying to make this a nice soap, but it's not happening. That's what. That's it. This is what it is. What I was thinking is I might do just gold, just on this side, and leave the other side white. I thought that might be nice. Something a bit different. What do you reckon? I oh, know. Talking to myself. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm talking to you guys, but it's no different than talking to myself. I give game commentary when I play games and I'm playing them by myself, literally. I'm not even filming myself doing it. <laughs> I'd love to stream, but I just don't think I have the brain capacity for it anymore. Everything's just... Like, since this menopause started, everything's just become so difficult... My memory, oh, like I've always had a shit memory anyway, but my memory now, it's just, oh, it's, it's, it's freaking scary is what it is. All right. Is there any left in there? There's a little bit left in there. I'll go over there and slap him. There's plenty on the bench. <laughs> Anybody need any spare mica? It's on the bench. Yep, I'm just going to leave that like that. It's not the fanciest soap, but it's done. It doesn't look that bad. Oh, shit. I'm going to take a photo of the top of that soap. Well, that needs a thumbnail. So we're probably going to have to do that. All right. I'll bring you up. Now, is there any point? Do you want a close-up? I don't think it looks any different closer up. Focus. There you go. It's nice. I like it. 
it's just it's a nice simple soap it's also my last soap for today because I just I was gonna do four or five but I just don't have it in me I'm just gonna go upstairs and sulk <laughs> go upstairs and feel sorry for myself because my car's fucked why not all right my friends I will see you momentarily for the cutting Ta -da. hello Got you on the big bench. <laughs> look, look how white this is. It's a bit mental how white this is. Seriously. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Ah, it's white. It's white as white. Oh, I'm going to stop texting me, I don't care. Wow, it's white as bra. Look at that. Holy cow. I love it. Now I've cut this an extra day later. So it doesn't have as much of the... Um, the pimpling you got you get from using a wire cutter because I've left it sit. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, I love this. Love it. I can't believe it's white. It's coconut. Now I'm gonna guess, I don't know, that my strings still are not tight enough because on this other end, instead of cutting through the soap, like instead of cutting one of these little bits, instead of cutting through it, it's cut around it. So there's a big bulge on the end. Uh, I think that means the strings are not tight enough. I love that you can't really tell in this light. This light is really shocking in here. Um, those lines are gold. Well, you watch the video, so you know the lines are gold. <laughs> Yeah, this landlord, he was supposed to turn up today. No, he was supposed to turn up on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so, on. Well, I didn't smack that down hard enough, do I? Yeah, uh, on Monday afternoon, the, land, the real estate rang me and said, You might have noticed that the landlord hasn't turned up. Well, yeah, I did notice that. They said, Oh, he'd like to reschedule for Thursday. And I said, That's fine. I'm trying to be as as you know as charitable as I can be considering how much this affects my life and um, yeah I don't think this is gonna work either no if it's not it's just I can see it just sliding I'm gonna have to cut that myself you can see you see the big sort of no because it's just all blurry See the sort of big lump that it's left? It hasn't cut. So it could just be that this wire is not tight enough. So what I'll do is I'll tighten that one. I feel like they're all just really loose compared to yesterday or the day before. Maybe it's just my imagination. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so Wednesday there's a knock at the door and Landlord turns up and he goes, I'm, I'm here to work in the yard. And I'm like, okay. He was supposed to come on Thursday. That was what I agreed to. So I didn't say anything. Uh, so he was here yesterday and then he's here again today. So watching what he's doing, is sort of as you know, to glance out the window as I'm doing stuff. And he's like ripping all the gardens and stuff out. So I don't know how he thinks he's going to be able to do all that today. And again, when he left after last time, when they did the front veranda, he plugged the, the water in to the pump. And if you guys have been around here for a while, you know how much issue I had with that and how like I had a $700 electricity bill and... So I don't use that pump and I don't use the tank water because it's, there's a leak somewhere in the system and it just runs constantly. So every time he comes here, he plugs it back in and turns it on. 
So when he leaves, I turn it back off again and plug it. And I don't know why. I mean, he's not, he hasn't used any water at all since he's been here, yet he's just done that. It's like, excuse me, you may own the home, but you don't actually live here and you don't pay $480 a week to access this property. So, oh, no, leave it open. I've been really nice so far, but I don't know how much nicer I can be. I know the audio is going to be pretty low on this because the because we're a long way from the microphone. Anyway, I'll turn this off and I'll cut this other soap. And that'll be enough of my witching for the day. <laughs> bye bye.